I got a call yesterday from my uncle saying that he's going trolling on Saturday. So I'm just prepping today. Seeing what gear I need. Don't want to forget anything. I'll show you guys some of the gears that I pack. And the ones that a Coney Boy unpacks. Father's Day, the kids got me this Yeti loadout go box. Um, so far, I took it on the boat once. Absolutely love it. Holds about everything that I'm going to bring. So, start off right at the top. I got a couple extra battery packs just to charge up my GoPros, got my bomber shades. Under that, I got a Canon 7D. I'm going to have a, running a GoPro, a media mod, and a chest strap. So I have a neck mount that you might have seen from the Mipachi videos. That's what I was using. I got this new clamp. It's supposed to attach to like uh, bars. Maybe I'll find somewhere to mount it. And then I have this GoPro case which has the chargers, extra batteries, fully geared up, ready to go. And then some of the lures I'm going to bring. I don't need to bring any poles. My uncle has all the trolling poles and a bunch of skirted lures. So I'll show you some of these that I have in here in a minute. Sunscreen. It's a must. I'm going to be in the sun all day. Uh, this is a waterproof speaker by Anchor. Uh, one of my uh, face shields that we make, camouflage, some gloves. I love these gloves for fishing because they have such a good grip. Maxi cut. I also use them for three pronging. And this rescue streamer. So this rescue streamer, I keep on my dive float. Because no matter what dive I'm on, I always bring my float with me for safety. And if for whatever reason the current changes... I can simply open this streamer and I can be visible either to my dive partners, to the Coast Guard. Uh, this is actually a gift. Uh, Mo gave this to me before he left. And now when I go fishing or Mimpachi fishing or I'm trolling tomorrow, I keep this clipped on my shorts by AFCO Tactical Fishing Shorts and I keep it in my pocket. Never know what can happen out there in the water. I'd rather be safe. And this is one way to get noticed. So here's my trolling lures. I don't have a big collection of skirted um, trolling lures. We don't do too much trolling. Mainly we're diving and on the way back in, you know, we throw out some lines and maybe we get lucky. Haven't got lucky yet, but we're out there. We try in and these are the ones that I'm running tomorrow. So first off, I'm going to run this. This Nomad Mad Scan. It's a 160 gram lure. It's pretty long. But what I have it hooked up to is a wire leader to this Goldfish Gam that I'm eager to try. I have a Yozuri. I have another Nomad. A skirted lure that was given to me. So we'll see what kind of action we're getting tomorrow. Um, I've Personally, I never caught an ahi before, and I know the ahis are out right now. A lot of people are pulling them up. I'm not expecting one. Um, I don't really expect anything. I've had a lot of empty coolers when I go trolling, so let's get out there, have some fun. It's about 4.15, heading down to the harbor to be my uncle. Let's go get it. Ooh. 
pretty good size. Yeah, right when it got close to that rubbish. He's fighting. Pull it in. time bringing out the go fish camera and I was able to get that Ono strike on the video even though I didn't hit the lure that I was filming but I'm gonna take it out a few more times try a few different techniques and uh, give you guys you know honest review and show you guys some of the footage you can get if you run this camera Heading in, no ahi today, but she got one owner on the board. Something to bring back home for friends and family for Father's Day. Blood in the cooler. Like, subscribe, and join me on my next venture. Shoot!